They want to separate them. This is Jamie Vardy! History maker! Oh, yes. I've won four times the FA Cup. Who has won it more? Give me one name. Okay, we're not talking about that right now, Arsen. Right now, we are talking week 12 predictions. And here they are. These are my predictions. 8 out of 10 of them. We're going to get to the last two matches of the week just shortly. So what do we have here? I have Liverpool and Spurs continuing their great run of form. As you can see, Arsenal, Burnley draw. Yes, they're struggling. I know it's easy to kick someone while they're down, but it's just so much fun. <laughs> Up here in the corner, we got a five-goal thriller, Leeds versus West Ham. I just think that Leeds are great going forward, but they leave much to be desired in the back, and that Bowen has been especially impressive for West Ham, so 3-2 makes a lot of sense here. Let me know if you disagree with any of these. Put it down below. I know a lot of you are looking at Leicester Brighton specifically and scratching your heads, but for me, a draw is very plausible. I mean, Leicester did struggle two weeks in a row versus two relegation sides, and then for Brighton... I think eventually Grand Potter is going to work his magic. He's going to figure it out sooner or later. With all of these matches, let me know in comment form down below. Looking at these lineup as match weeks go, this is a very good one. I'll probably watch all of these except maybe I'll probably skip Sheffield, Southampton, and West Brom, Newcastle if I'm being honest. But two matches that you cannot skip this week are the two matches of the week. We got the Manchester Derby and Everton, Chelsea. Let's start with... United versus City. The last six matches between these two, very even. United have won three of the previous four. Very impressive seeing that as City has been the better club in the previous couple seasons. Now at the end of this, we're going to find out if Manchester is red or blue. But more exciting, we get to see the two best midfielders in the league, arguably. Bruno versus De Bruyne. And there's been a lot of debate. But if you ask me, they're two very similar players, uh, very forward thinking, very smart on the ball, long distance shooters, two leaders in their clubs. Let me put it this way. If you were a manager and you had to choose between these two, who would you go with? For me, it's going to be Bruno, obviously, because I'm a United supporter and it's sentimental. Tactically, though, I would probably go with De Bruyne, maybe. Who would you sign if you had to choose between these two? Let me know down below. Obviously, we lose in the Champions League. We get dropped into the Europa League. Much deserved. You put out performances like that, you deserve to play on Thursdays instead of, you know, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. This was just more evidence for my prediction. I think City wins this one 3-1. Is there any way United win this one? Let me know down below. I'd, I'd be really interested to hear your reasoning behind it. Everton, Chelsea should be should be a good one. Now, both will be uh, very rested. Chelsea played their B team in the Champions League. And, of course, Everton had no midweek match. So, they're going to be very fresh, very sharp. In FIFA terms, their fitness, basically their fitness bars are going to be very full. Tactically, we all know what Chelsea is capable of. Everton, on the other hand, they have to win the battle in the flanks. Key here is fullbacks and wingers getting service into the box. DCL, according to Opta Joe, has scored the most goals, 11, in the box in the top five leagues. Simply put, good service into the box equals a higher chance of beating Chelsea. Unfortunately, Everton is going to lose to Chelsea 2-1. to one. And that's all. That's 10 matches, 10 predictions. Very quickly, I want to shout out my niece and nephew, my two biggest fans, and probably the only people who watch my YouTube videos, to be quite honest. So shout out to Mary and Juice. What up? These are the top comments very quickly from last week. Roberto Hollis, top predictor, 7 out of 10. And thanks to FIFA for football and mi amigo Dario Marquez for the very nice words. And I'll see you next video.